Today we're going to be building this rope net here. Make sure you check out the description below, which has a list of all the tools, materials, alternative elements which could be used to swap out for this piece, as well as any other elements which could connect to it in some way. The guys here have just made a little makeshift bender. We've got this round bar that we're using to attach our ropes to the frame of this climber. And so we're just bending this with three points and getting a pipe or something else like that to bend them around. Now we're just welding these small saddles onto the, the climber. And those ones are just so that the rope can go through there, the nice strong connection there. We're going to cement all of these posts in place now, making sure that they're spinning perfectly vertical. We can get a plumb bob to make sure that that's all going to be straight and then just leave those ones to set. Of course, if you're doing any welding, you always want to make sure that you clean up those welds really well. So there's no little sharp bits uh, poking out anywhere. Now we're going to thread this rope running on one angle first and then the others. And then we can tie this one off. Making sure it's a really strong connection there. You can go through a couple of times and then we'll work on the uh, verticals. So we're stretching out this rope. We put it through once and we're stretching it out so it's going to be as tight as possible. And then we can re-tie that so it won't have any more flexibility in it. Using natural ropes, you can soak them in water for a while and then try and stretch them. Just making sure that those things can't stretch anymore once they're already in place. Take your rope, go under, pulling it really tight. Making sure it's lining up straight. We're going around one way and then we're going to go around over the top again, but this time passing through here, through that little loop. And then you want to keep that first loop tight as you're pulling the next one through. And just make sure that all of those are really, really compact. Push the heel of the knot up as well. And there we go. You can see here, They've started to weave this smaller rope into the larger rope. This will also work really well if you find you're running a little bit short on rope. You can just fix that up. That'll be a really, really strong connection. Making sure that you finish off the ends of those ropes. So you wrap them up with a bit of electrical tape, like this guy here. And then you can just burn those edges and it'll actually melt the synthetic strands in there if you're using synthetics. If you're using metal for this piece, use red oxide metal primer to make sure it doesn't rust, especially down in the legs there. And then we're using an oil base over the top of that one. This one, we've got a twist in this rope net. That's because we've got a slanted angle going on this one piece of metal. And then the next one, where the little A-frame is, it's going in the other direction. And those two horizontal ones are also going at different angles. So you get this really nice twist in the whole netting piece. So this design, as well as all of our designs, are made to be used in conjunction with the free safety handbook, which is available from the website. It's just down there. Hey, what did you think of the video? Please let us know down below in the comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more of what Patrick's doing in India. You can go and visit playgroundideas.org, which has 150 designs and all the resources that you need to build an awesome playground. And lastly, we've got a ton more videos to watch, so check them out here.